you got the intake, you got the carburetor, you got the exhaust, you got the heads worked a little bit, or you got new heads. Now you have to make it burn. Now you have to upgrade your ignition system. Okay. So when you're talking about that, you're talking about ignition system, there's basically three ways you can go. All right. You can go a stock points type distributor. You can go a HEI this type distributor, or you can go an aftermarket ignition system setup. With the stock one, like the points type, you know, like the small cap, like you saw in your grandpa's 57 Chevy, you know, and with the points, with the dwell, the whole nine yards, those were the original. Those were what originally everything came out with, okay? They were problematic because that's why XL came out in the, the mid-60s with the dual point distributors, which had, it, it was a backup, you know, so that you, if you, it wouldn't float at certain RPMs because they're very RPM sensitive. They're very adjustment sensitive. They're, they're a pain in the butt, okay? They were. I mean, you. I mean, that's back when tuning was tuning. When it, every the, when the distributor was mechanical, the carburetor was mechanical. Everything you know, you had to know how to make things work. Okay. Now you can still run one of those, but nowadays everybody is taking a company like Petronics and taking all of that, the points and the dwell and all that out and putting a, a ignition system. Uh, a, electronic ignition module inside there were to replace the points which you know when if you're in a space saving situation it, it's a it's a completely viable do uh, doable you, i mean they work they work ford chevy chrysler anything with a distributor you can put one of those on there and uh buy a better coil and you're up and running and you're doing good okay and uh then in 1973 gm came out with an hei electronic distributor the big cap the big ones okay the ones that's in everything every uh um square body camaros malibus all of them and they all had them whether they were oldsmobile pontiac engines uh cadillacs they all had the electronic condition because they were just so much more efficient and they were just put it in set the time in uh and you're gone and there's no messing with it there's no dwell there's no nothing the uh, combustion was better power was better uh drivability was better and you didn't have to bring it into the mechanic every three months and have them set to dwell that was that was the 1973 was the game changer when it came to distributors okay now back in the 80s you know everybody started getting a little bit more performance oriented the 70s and 80s and so when uh, the electronic distributors came out with HEIs, um, all the aftermarkets came online, and they and they were they produced better coils, um, better caps, better spark plug wires. You know the technology started taking off to put additions onto the uh, an HEI distributor. Okay, but it has its limitations also. Okay, once you get past a certain performance point rpm range everything you got to think about bulking up and that's where like for and for the race car that i the camaro that i built i went msd a complete system a 6a box distributor coil wires everything everything uh msd because at that time, and I still feel at this time that they are still the best company out there. Now there's other XLs, you know, things like that, but but MSD is the only one that you can buy a complete kit. Comes in a box, you just put it all back on. Okay, but what uh, MSD is called multiple strike distrib uh, distributor or uh, some. Uh, I'll have to look it up, but MSD, but MSD just to me it always means. A multiple fires per cylinder instead of one like um i had a friend when i first put it on uh my first hot rod i just put a 6a box on and these this is before this is analog this is before they went digital okay and i put a 6a box on on the the hot rod 
and I, he had the old the old style uh, scope. And it would just show fire. And I've had it in before and one fire per cylinder. And you can see it, you know. And then when I, once I put that MSD on, that 6A box, six. Six fires per cylinder. So it was, you, it was noticeable on the car because it just ran cleaner. Never had a, a foul spark plug because everything was completely burned in that combustion chamber because of it. Okay, so... And MSD is still the brand like NHRA, so uses under top fuels. I mean, the Magnetos and stuff. I mean, MSD is a legit, solid company. There, I've never had a problem with any of their products, okay? So once you get to a certain point, or if you want to go racing, or if you need consistency, or if you need uh, something above and beyond just stock, then you have to go aftermarket. You have to because you can only patch so much on a... Uh, a regular HEI distributor. There's only so much you can do. You can only make it make so much power where an MSD with the 6A, the new digital boxes, which are completely tunable, you know, which is also a plus because you can have a rev limiter under, you can protect your parts, you know, the whole nine yards. Uh, but the multiple spark when it comes, if you're running alcohol, if you're running E85s, if you're running anything that takes a lot, of, you know, a lot of, volume of fuel you got to burn it and a regular distributor system is not going to do it it's just not going to handle it it's just my opinion but i would say anything over a 600 cfm with a good set of heads even on the street you know if it's by the numbers they say that's too big for like a 350 engine if you're worried about it buy you a 6 al box and just hook it up to the you know they make a kit with just the box that you can put on a hei but if you're going racing, if it's you're playing double duty and you're going to be beaten on it and you need to be consistent and you need to burn every last atom of fuel you're throwing at it, aftermarket is the only way to go. And I, my personal is just MSD. I mean, I don't know if I have a sticker. Yeah, I do. I got a sticker right there. I mean, I've, I've spent the money, you know, and they're not cheap anymore. They are definitely not cheap. I mean, uh, I've been out of the business, uh, racing business for 10, 15 years, and I've got sticker shock. I mean, the big block with the tunnel ram had MS, full MSC system on it, and I didn't pay half of what they want for uh, to retro one into like a, a new, uh, new style big block. I mean, it just, they're pricey, but if you got to have it, you have to have it, and they are well worth it, okay? So that's just the way it is, all right? While you're here, remember, we do Thursday Night Lives. Every Thursday night, 8 o'clock Central, um, we talk about stuff just like this. Every night, we have a good time. It's I enjoy doing these every Thursday. I look forward to them every Thursday. So I hope to see you there. Y'all have a great day, because great day today could mean a better working ignition system in the future. Y'all be good.